anything interesting this offseason? Uh, played basketball <laughs> at national team windows for the World Cup qualifiers. That was June and uh, August, July. Get a little rest and back to work. How do you guys uh, pick it back on what you did last year and, and go even a little farther? Uh, just trying to build on top of it. I think the well, basically the core t stayed the same. Uh, plus, added some uh, new pieces uh, like Seawood, Joel, uh, Jaden. Uh, you know, we got. I think every of those guys can help the team uh, a little bit better. The team is back healthy, and uh, you know, you already have a good team from last year. Plus, adding some people is just gonna is gonna make it better. I know you guys struggled on the boards last year. What do you like about the addition of Woods? Well, I'm pretty sure that with the boards, there's going to be a lot of help from uh, Joel and, uh, and C. Wood. So, you know, that shouldn't really be an issue. But overall, it's a team thing. You know, you got to work as a team to get the rebound. How long have you been in town? Uh, I got here September 5th or 6th, something like that. So you've been playing with these guys for a while. Yeah, did two full weeks of uh, open gym. What has been your impression, you know, especially playing with, like you said, I said those are the guys that uh, it, like they can be easy to use on both ends of the floor. Uh, tall, athletic guys, you know they can disrupt the shots on on the defensive end. You know so sometimes that can take care of some mistakes we can we can make defensively and uh, and still get the stop. And uh, you know Joel, Seawood both uh, can live by the rim. Uh, Seawood can shoot a three two, so it kind of spread the floor at the same time. So you know it's just going to be a matter of time for them to kind of. Get the feel, get comfortable in the system, and uh, I think they're gonna do great. Thomas, what are some things you guys collectively want to accomplish in the training camp? You know, you can tell by my voice, the <laughs> talking one is the number one thing, the communication. Uh, so yeah, like that's the number one emphasis that coach was uh, putting on. He said, like last year, it took some time for them to start building that up from the beginning. This year, in the beginning, it's already better than it was last year in the beginning. So, you know, it's just more room to grow and uh, and that's the number one emphasis on uh, just first of all talking on both ends of the floor. How would you like to see your game evolve this season? Honestly, my game is my game and uh, I'm really not going to invent anything new. Uh, uh, improve the three point percentage I guess. Yeah. Uh, I can always improve that and uh, you know for me as long as we win games I'm going to be happy whatever way I can help. Uh, so this summer, it's not even my hometown, I barely spent any time there where I built that court. It's just, uh, had the national team GM from that town and uh, he said that they're not going to have any basketball courts after the rebuild of the park. And it was like, you know, I want to build like every summer at least one court and, uh, you know, I, I want to build in a place where it's actually useful when there's nothing and, uh, and the kids are going to use it. So yeah, the turnout was great. A lot of kids showed up for, uh, for the opening. Uh, and the summer before we opened, the one that uh, is kind of in my hometown, like really close to it. Uh, and also, I was there this summer, uh, just went there to work out one day when we had the camp for kids. And there, there's a lot of people there, kids shooting, playing, so, so I was happy to see that. I heard you won some slam dunk contest. <laughs> well, I was 18 and uh, weighed like 85 kilos, so like 190 pounds probably. Uh, that's the number one reason, uh, and that was a Slovenian league dunk contest, so it wasn't really many athletic players there, <laughs> I will say. And, and the other guy that was kind of good, like he missed some dunks, so I was just in a better position making them. <laughs> what did you guys learn about yourself last year, and particularly in that series against the Warriors? Uh, you know, against the Warriors, like we still believed till the end. You know, we were down in the series. I still like we still saw watching film that. There's places that we can improve. We can help ourselves to win the game, and uh, you know, unfortunately, it didn't happen. But like watching the film, like you really have the belief that it, yeah, we could go out there and win if we do these things right. But uh, like unfortunately, we didn't really executed everything uh, the right way at the end. Last year, this time, nobody had you guys going to the NBA's version of the Final Four. What does that say about what you were able to accomplish? I think it's just the the things that the team was building up on before me and Spencer uh, were traded here. Uh, just the perseverance, the, you know, when you're down, just keep pushing, help each other, 
that teamwork, team chemistry, I think those were the key words that uh, when I came here, like it was the accountability and chemistry, what the team was building on, and, uh, and you could really see that. And I think that's just, you know, everybody can play basketball in the NBA, and if you have like the right formula and you kind of put the team together and everybody believes in each other and helps each other, like you, you can achieve something special every year. Uh, yeah, like the second window, the World World Cup qualifiers, end of August. Uh, he was with us and uh, did an amazing job. And uh, you know, we're, we're really one small step away from uh, qualifying for the World Cup. Did you ever? Uh, I know y'all were kind of like two ships passing when you got traded. Spending uh, time talking about how crazy it was to get kind of traded for each other. Uh, yeah, definitely. We exchanged some information about just kind of. Like right away when it happened, uh, we got on a call like five minutes later. Uh, especially at the beginning, it wasn't even the, my name wasn't even said in the in the trade, and he thought that we were gonna play together. And it's like, and then it turns out that now it's like he was like, oh, shit. I was like really excited, like you know, we could, another Latvian on the team. But uh, yeah, like it was more a conversation, I guess, just when he got traded and during the summer, it was just like any other time meeting each other. You know, was that obviously last year you came in to be a trade? How does it feel to have the actual training with some of these guys here? It's nice. It's just nice to be here from the from the beginning. You were kind of thrown into the whole system uh, in the middle of the season uh, and get like a quick course on what we're supposed to do. And now just uh, starting all that from the basics when you already kind of understand everything. It's just, uh, you know, just solidifying everything and uh, makes it a little bit easier. In your estimation, is this year's team better than last year's team? Uh, definitely, yes. I think every single guy coming back uh, is better than where we were last year, especially in the beginning of last year, and we could just keep building on it individually and, and as a team.